Welcome to this week's episode of Thriving Through Menopause with me, Clarissa. Hot flashes, night sweats. 80% of us know about those, right? Because that's the most common symptom of perimenopause and menopause. But what if you could do something about that in a beautiful way? And that's what my guest today, Leslie Myers, is here to share with me. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Oh, hi. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to talk about Hot Girls Pearls with you. Exactly, because that's what we're talking about, Hot Girls Pearls, which you're the president of this, and it's a jewelry-based company based in New York. I'm right. Yeah, that's right. So... And what's also great is it's a women-owned business. We're a product, obviously, uh, for women to very, as you said, in a really pretty way, deal with a condition, situation that women may find themselves in, and in a very discreet, pretty way, keep them cool, keep them feeling comfortable. Which is the nicest thing because I think, you know, all of us have been in a situation, in a meeting, in a social setting, when suddenly you're like, <laughs> you know, suddenly you're very red, you're very hot. And I think we get very flustered, don't we, Leslie, in that situation? I think it's true. And anyone who's had a hot flash, whether it's the first time you've had one when you really don't know what's happening to you, or you know it's going to happen at some point during your day, some women are unfortunately having this multiple times in a day. And when you don't know it's going to happen, um, some people, to your point, get very flush. Some people literally start sweating, and it's a real uncomfortable place to be. And um, when you're hot and overheated, there are some important pulse points that you want to keep cool, the back of your neck and the inside of your wrist. And what do we do on those parts of our bodies? Many times we wear jewelry just because those are, right, necklaces, bracelets, things like that. And the concept to come up with something that you could wear that not only is attractive, but deals with that problem is a great win-win. We like to think of ourselves as the best combination of fashion and function. I love that because... You know, you're right. Suddenly you're bright red and your makeup's running. It's it's an awful feeling. You know, you feel that. And so something that's attractive, that isn't drawing attention to you, except in a good way, is exactly. really positive. And How as you mentioned, being in a meeting, I was just going to say, you know, there was a woman who told us this wonderful, I shouldn't say wonderful, but sort of funny, humorous story about being in a room filled with men. And all of a sudden having this happen and really not realizing what was was going on. Um, and so our products um, contain um, non-toxic cooling gel. It's a patented process how they're made. Um, you actually do, in fact, keep them in the freezer. And each bead is filled with this cooling gel, kind of like you'd find in an ice pack. But they really do look like pearls, like stones, semi-precious stones, and things that you could wear going out on a night out on the town and you're ready when you need them. Or they're sitting in your freezer after you've had a really hot day and you just want to cool down and relax. Like I said, those pulse points behind your neck and your wrist are really important. Yeah, they are. Tell me a little bit about they were invented. What was the moment that the person who invented them had that aha, like we always have with a big innovation? <laughs> you know, women are great that way. And, you know, the, the saying um, necessity is the mother of invention. In this case, that couldn't have been more true. So the original founder of Hot Girls Pearls, a woman named Connie Sherman, was put on a medication that threw her basically into instant menopause and was having really debilitating hot flashes and could not find anything on the market that she could wear out in public that made her feel better. And so literally that aha moment, as you say, she found some refreezable 
ice cubes, put them in the freezer, basically strung them together and then put them around her neck and said, you know, this is actually working. Um, so, so what could I do to make something or what could she do that would um, make them more attractive? And it's like anyone who comes up with a brand new idea, usually you get told, no, it can't be done or, you know, this or that. Mm -hmm. And she um, really stuck to it and found a way um, to have them made. So over time, obviously, the product has changed. Um, the size of the pearls has changed um, a little bit, the technology of how they're made. So we've really been able to expand our product line. Yeah. And um, I mean, when you get them and you've frozen or kept them cold, how long do they stay cold, Leslie? Right. So this is the number one question we get, right? Sort of how big are they and how long do they last? And again, this is that tug and pull of fashion and function. And we really try to lean into the function since anyone could always buy a piece of, uh, buy a nice necklace, buy a nice bracelet. But once they are in the freezer, and what's the nice thing about the product is it comes in a freezable pouch. So it not only protects the product, but it also allows you to reuse and extend the life of the product, take them with you, if you will. Yeah. So you freeze them for at least four hours. Um, and then typically we tell people you can get about up to 30 minutes of cooling. It depends on your own body temperature, of course, and um, the outside environment in which you're wearing them. Um, we also make it really easy to take them on and off. They have a magnetic clasp, so you never have to sort of fiddle with anything. Um, and then the beauty is, again, this pouch will stay cold for a few hours. So you take them with you. Let's say you know some point in the day you're going to have a hot flash or you're going to work or you're going for an evening night out. Maybe you're even going to the gym to exercise. You know, take them with you and then you have them when you're done. And then once that hot flash passes, just stick them right back in the pouch. You can recool them and then wear them again. That's amazing. And of course, you know, I think you're right. We do sometimes know those instances where it's going to happen don't we I mean for me it used to happen you had a big meeting you had everybody in front of you yeah and then it would always guaranteed happen then you know because well, stress you know for me for but that's sure me. no 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 stress for sure is a big trigger but the other nice thing is these products while they do keep you discreet there are other times beyond hot flashes that a woman may experience heat sensitivity, right? So yes. it could be um, perhaps someone is going through a medical challenge, maybe it's breast cancer or other forms of cancer where the treatments either keep you from going on any kind of hormone replacement or um, just the treatment alone is causing some heat sensitivity. Yes. And so again, just to your point where you just don't necessarily want people to know what's going on and you just want to keep a brave face and a happy face and feel good, this product can help you do that. And even if you have other autoimmune um, conditions like multiple sclerosis and other heat sensitivity issues there are other conditions that can cause mm. profuse of sweating and other kinds of things that our product is just a great way to um to deal with it yeah i love that because that actually i mean hot flushes do pass but you're right medications can often give people who are way past menopause hot flashes you know people women i hear people say my mother still has them but she's kind of 70 and then you talk about the medication and they go, oh yeah, she has this and this. And, and that's probably more likely than it's hormonal. And you're right, of course, lots of other conditions have heat sensitivity. So that is a great way, isn't it, to support women, not just in one life stage, but throughout various aspects of their life, which maybe aren't so fun, some of them either. No, and yeah. absolutely. And, and sort of what you're saying, even when you're past menopause, we've heard women say that 
their whole body clock, their whole body temperature has just sort of permanently changed. Mm -hmm. And while they might not be having hot flashes anymore, they just always find themselves taking off a jacket, taking off a layer that where they used to not have that, they just feel hot all the time. And sometimes, um, you know, you feel tired and run down. It puts you in not a great mood. And if you can come home and grab these out of the freezer or whatever it is that you might be doing, maybe you're cooking or maybe you're gardening or whatever it is um, that adds just that you do feel it really instantly um, in these um, pulse points and they really do make a difference. That's beautiful. Asking a little bit, I'd love to be able to see or let the listeners also see yeah. what the products look like. I know you've got one of the necklaces. I do. I do. <laughs> I do have on sort of our classic pearls, which again, they are oversized. So someone has to, you know, maybe feel a little comfortable about that. You know, they are about a quarter in size. They're about an inch in diameter. Each pearl is about a 12 millimeter pearl but we also have what we like to call chiclets and they are rectangle and they are flat. So this flat bead is resting against your skin in a little bit of different way. It also, they really do look like real stones. And as I mentioned, you know, this magnetic class makes it really easy to snaps on and off. Um, and the magnet is coated in something called rhodium, not to get too technical, but it keeps it from um, uh, rusting, you know, in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, they come in this fantastic pouch. And the pouch is also lined with our cooling gel, which is what keeps it nice and cold. And it protects the product from developing um, frost. They don't leak. They don't sweat. They'll keep your clothes dry. Um, you know, and these are some of the fun bracelets that we do. And this is a beautiful bright green. I'm wearing um, the blue and the white, which is really very pretty. And like I said, honestly, the only comment you'll probably get is, wow, that's a great necklace. <laughs> and, and, you know, women love to share a great find when they have one. And usually what will, someone will say is, oh, those are really great pearls. And you say, oh, no. Not only are these pearls, like you have to feel them. You have, you know, women love to share that about. Yeah, absolutely. And I do think they're lovely. And I like the fact that if you're not a kind of a pearls person, um, you've got something that's maybe a little bit more informal, a little bit more casual. The chiclets look like they're more in that space. I agree. I think some people think, oh, pearls, you know, exactly. If you're not really a pearl girl. Now, the pearls come in all these different kinds of colors, but still, you might not like the idea of sort of a gumball size pearl around your neck. And I think the chiclets add um, a little bit more contemporary feel. Like I said, they um, and they come in different lengths and different sizes, depending on, um, you know, what you might be wearing or what your comfortable in because you you want them to again be on your skin not on your clothing but you yes. want it comfortable you want the bracelet snug around your wrist but not uncomfortably uncomfortably so yeah and I love the thing like the bracelets you definitely you said you could wear them in the gym you can wear those very very easily and of course yeah you're right this is the mate one of the major pulse points of the body is here so absolutely beautiful. Put those you could have one on each or you can have a couple that's just that's that's fantastic actually because there isn't anything else like this on the market there are watches and stuff I've seen but not this particular type of approach um exactly it makes a really nice gift and you're right some of the other products on the market either are unattractive they might get your clothes wet or get you wet or they're quite pricey and um, not to say that our products are cheap because they aren't. I mean, but again, I we like to say this whole fashion function that you're really getting two things in one. Now, on the flip side, some people have asked, well, could you heat these? And if you are cold, wear them for the opposite reason. And actually, no, this product is specifically meant to keep you cool and only meant to be frozen. Um, you know, it, again, and the magnetic clasp 
most people love there, you know, just wouldn't be easier to put on and off. But there are some people that do have concerns about magnets or wearing magnets. And so it is something just to be conscious of, which is again, why then the bracelets are a great option because they have no metal on them at all. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, because there are some people who are allergic to metal, aren't there? So the fact you yes. can just slip a bracelet on is beautiful. Yeah. And roughly how long, Leslie, do these um, sets of jewelry last? Well, once you have them, I mean, they should just last on and on and on. I mean, they don't, we've never really had an instance where they break. Mm -hmm. I've tried taking a hammer to them myself just to try to <laughs> open them up and, and see. And it's, it's really impossible. You know, again, we, we try to really, they are great. They are meant for menopause and for women, but sometimes, you know, people think, Oh, it's a great teething toy. It's a great, you know, all these other things. And of course the inside of the gel is non-toxic, but we would never, we don't recommend that it's meant for a baby or teething or anything um, like that. Um, but they should last in, you know, forever, really. There's no, there's nothing about them that, um, says otherwise. And like I said, you can kind of put them in the freezer and forget them. That's great. And then you just use them when you need them. I, I, I really love this. I think this is such a, a great way to manage these difficult situations so um, easily so attractively and this whole function fashion which is still only in its infancy isn't it Leslie I mean this is not this is not main, mainstream mainstream yet no I think so and it does require a little bit of explanation of course when someone sees it they see that oh it looks like this great necklace and it's only when you've really explained it to someone like Oh, it's meant to be frozen. And then it's funny when you speak to women and you say, oh, they're meant to be frozen. Their immediate go-to is menopause. You almost never have to say anything to another woman. The minute you say it's frozen, it's beads, it's jewelry, everyone says, oh my God, that would be perfect for hot flashes. And we say, yes, absolutely. That's what they're for. <laughs> that's that's so funny. That's obviously how we think. Yeah. And and at the moment, Leslie, are they available everywhere in the world or where can we get them? Yeah, so we have a website, you know, hotgirlspearls.com and it's, you know, plural, hot and then girlspearls.com. And yes, we ship all over. That's great. And how have they been going? I mean, are they are they picking up and becoming more and more popular now? Yeah, I think what's um, amazing is we all know that I hate to say menopause is having a moment, but somehow it feels like <laughs> menopause is having a moment. Maybe it's also because I'm at the age and so we're all paying attention and lots of celebrities and women that we all look up to or have been looking up to are also going through this stage in your in their lives. You know, everyone will go through it. Um, their experience um well, everyone's is slightly different. Not everyone maybe has hot flashes the same way. Not everyone has the same symptoms that other people do have. Um, but there does seem to be something now that people are really recognizing what's going on um, in a woman's life. And we feel really fortunate to be in a situation to offer something um, very different um, new and again, that does allow for this sort of discreet way of um, combating the situation, you know, that again, it's this involuntary response that no one likes having it. You sort of start to feel it coming on and it's just not a pleasant feeling. No, no. And if you've never had a hot flash, <laughs> you'll know. I suspect most of my listeners will be just sitting here going, oh, I've had one of those. This heat that kind of rises and you're like, whoa, and you, you're hot everywhere. So I, I'm, I'm really excited for women to try this product. I think this is, you know, I'm over my hot flashes now. Um, <laughs> luckily, and I only had them for a very short time, but, but, you know, they are there. 
they have been there. And I know for women, they're so common. Would they work at night as well if you had a night sweat? <coughs> so they really are good anytime. Again, the nice thing about this pouch, like, would I wear them to bed? I'm not sure I would. But if you woke up in the middle of the night and you had them next to you in this pouch, I think it's a really comforting, quick, instant relief. Um, again, that happens quickly again, because it is targeting your, your pulse points that you can get this sort of very quick, very with, again, without worrying about something getting wet or your clothes getting, um, yeah. wet or damaged in any way. You don't have to worry about that. No, and I suppose you could easily wear a bracelet and that would be easier if you were asleep with those on you fell back to sleep a bracelet might be more comfortable yes I've heard, and we have heard of women putting on multiples you know a couple stringing more than one around their neck like <laughs> I even have two brace I have two bracelets on now and m mainly because I also just like the way it looks sort of you know layering them together when putting the colors together because they come you know we have them in all different kinds of bright um bright fun colors that, that's so fun. So yes, you could use them for night sweats, which I think is probably something many women find even worse than, than a hot flash in the day. It's kind of like, oh, so hot and then can't get back to sleep. But how quickly do they work? That's one thing I haven't, I haven't asked you. How quick does it actually go on out? You know, no one's an average, right. of course, but. Right. I think, you know, Sometimes they are feel so cold that you almost want to take them off because they really feel that like ice around your neck or wrist. And then, you know, as the body, anytime you put ice, a cold pack on yourself, your body starts to acclimate to the cold. Yeah. So while it may not be feeling as cold as that moment you put them on, they are still quite cold. Um, so you can sort of move them around and roll them, you know, where they, they, they would feel, feel good on you. Um, uh, and then, you know, we also, when you think about what you might be doing, if you're going about your day, even depending on maybe your profession, because when, um, COVID hit, people were, especially in the medical community, were covered head to toe in so much protective clothing that they really felt overwhelmed and overheated. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, women who are doctors and nurses and dental hygienists and in that, um, those medical fields still, it, it's a great way um, to keep, cool the body down. Yeah, that's so great. So, I mean, yeah, that's the other thing we don't think about. And what I like about these is, when you said that, it made me think there are so many professions where it's it's hard to strip off. I mean, you're right there. You can't just, you know, so in a in a business setting, you might be able to take your your jacket off, but if you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, if you work in have a uniform, you have to wear. Sometimes you can't take those things off. So this is also exactly. a great solution for people. You know, if you work in a retail store, wherever you are, and you have to wear a certain type of clothing, um, this is phenomenal. And I know in some banking positions, when I lived in Australia, they had to wear a certain uniform. And no matter what, in the heat right. there, you had to wear a full suit in, in yeah. the front of the bank. And you can't always, even though now we do more digital, there are still front of facing jobs where you can't just say, oh, I'll just take my jacket off or I'll, you know, whatever. We have to wear the uniform we're given and have to wear it as, as directed. Correct. And even if your or if your job is outside or if you just personally like to be outside. So we, um, it's a fun product. We actually sell to quite a few golfers and tennis players and now pickleball is all the rage. But if you're a gardener or any of those kinds of activities that could lend themselves to getting hot or overheated, um, it makes a nice, a nice gift for any of those activities too. That's wonderful. So we can get them through hotgirlspearls.com. That's right. Anywhere in the world. And what roughly do they retail around for? 
So, um, well, in the United States, we also offer free shipping, which is great. And then we do, uh, there is a small shipping fee depending on where you're shipping them internationally. But the bracelets um, retail for $60. And then the necklaces range anywhere from $75 up to $100. And that really is very affordable if you think of where that, as you said, compares with some of these gadgets and widgets that you put around their arm, which can be hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Exactly. They can be quite expensive. Or if something is really less expensive, then again, it isn't really a piece of jewelry that you might wear. Of course, there's cooling scarves out there and other yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. But, um, you know, I can't stress enough how much they really do look like stone, look like jewelry, and um, you sort of are getting two things in one. You're getting, again, this nice piece of jewelry, and then you're getting this functional, um, wonderful tool um, that is great on a hot day, but for sure a hot flash. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Leslie, I just want to thank you for coming on and sharing Hot Girls Pearls. I hope maybe we've inspired some of the listeners to check out the website and think, well, that could really work for me uh, as a way to manage my hot flashes, whatever the cause of that is. So thank you, Leslie. Oh, no, thank you. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for having me.